Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to remove sticky, icky makeup from mascara to eyeshadow, foundation, whatever it is you do. So I'm going to go over what I do on a daily basis when I come back from casting, when I go out at night. This is my facial routine um, that I follow and how I moisturize my face after. So I bought these cute little sponges from Diskim. They are facial sponges, I think. Um, and I'm just going to use this to help me with the water process so I can show you guys. First, I just want to tie up my hair. And then we'll get through the rest of the steps. Cool. So my hair is up. The first thing I do is I basically use an oil to remove all of the dirt so that it just makes the process a bit easier. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove my lashes and these are reusable so I'm just going to store them in the pot that I got them. And then I'm just going to take this oil. This oil is from Auntie Jackie's and Auntie Jackie's is not only a hair brand. This is a top to toe oil. I usually sometimes add this to my moisturizers. Um, if necessary um, and I use this for everything sometimes I put it on my body sometimes I use it to remove my makeup sometimes I add it to my hair routine so I'm gonna take a little bit of this oil and I'm just gonna rub this all over my face I'm going to look like the Grim Reaper but I just want to show you guys the process and how to make it easy. So the oil will break down your mascara as well. Because mascara is usually the toughest thing to get rid of on your face. And then after you went through the breaking down of the oil. You want to go in with a nice face cloth or I'm using the sponge for the purpose of this video and it's also like a nice little exfoliating sponge but it's very soft so then you're just going to remove all the makeup and you can see how easily that comes off after I've used oil quick 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 and fast um, in the past, I've used coconut oil as well, so you can use that as an oil as well. And then I go in with my Cetaphil just to cleanse my face with lightly. So this would be step two after an oil cleanse or a pre-cleanse. And I'm just going to take the same sponge and just wipe off the excess. Okay, cool. So after that's done, I just wait for my face to dry down a little bit. And then I am going to go in with uh, Bioderma um, H2O. This is the blue one. So this is the micellar water. And you can use this to remove your makeup on its own. But I just like to go through a few steps just to remove everything, all the product and everything that's on my face. So that my face is as clean as possible. So I'm using my Miniso... Um, swabs again and these are cotton swabs so i'm gonna put some of this on the pad and then i'm just gonna go over my face with this as well and you'll see it will remove any extra dirt on my face And that removes any eye makeup as well. So I have no more mascara left on my eyes. Cool. And you'll see that removed all of the excess dirt that was still left on my skin. 
Okay, and then we're gonna wait for this to dry as well. I usually use another toner, but because the Bioderma is fine to use as a toner, as a moisturizer, and as a cleanser, I just go over with this now that I'm using this in my process. I then follow up with a serum, which you want to apply after you've toned. So for the serum, I'm using the uh, Love Skin Care Glowing Serum, which is the Vitamin C Serum, and this adds glow to your skin. So with serum, when you apply serums, you want to pat it into your skin. I think I have mentioned this in my last tutorial. You just want to pat it all over in your neck. And you want to give that some time just to soak in before adding any other products. So I know they usually say only to use your oils possibly at night after your moisturizer. I apply the oils before my moisturizer irrespective. Wait for it to soak in and then do my moisturizer because I have very dry skin. So I am going in with my skin therapy oil from Palmer's that I have been using for a while now and I love it because it has retinol in it. It has 10 um, pure oils and cocoa butter, vitamin C. There's just a lot of stuff in here that I like so I'm going to go in with a little bit of this only. And my skin's already looking plumpy and glowy and better and clean. And then while I wait for that just to settle for a little bit, I will be applying my moisturizer after, which will be my Environ Mild Day Key Moisturizer. And this is the second step in the vitamin A range in the Environ Original. Um, so you don't need a lot. I've read many blogs where they tell you to apply your moisturizer in an upward stroking position. I haven't really read much up on why, but apparently it's how it's meant to be applied for it to penetrate into the skin. Cool. And that is my makeup removal routine.